What's up, everybody? My name is Rebecca. I am the prompt guide. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am so, so excited to start this channel to share with you some of the amazing things that I've learned so far. And I think it's just scratching the surface, honestly. Um, this channel is dedicated to prompts, all of the incredible ways you can use it to get the output that you really want, whether you're looking and starting a project, writing a book, writing a song, um, you just want to know more about how prompt engineering works and how it can help you, maybe in your job or outside of your job. There is something for everyone for sure. So um, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you're interested in this kind of thing. This is specifically going to be about prompt engineering, but we're going to dive into a bunch of different topics. I personally have a lot of creative interests and a lot of things that I want to do in my own life. So I'm just going to kind of explore some of those things and take you along for the ride. If you want to come with me, please do. I also encourage you to think about some of the projects maybe that you've wanted to work on that you're stuck with. Uh, it could be books, movies, like screenwriting, um, Honestly, it could be anything, anything, any passion or any project that you have that you're stuck with or that you're unsure of where to go next or you're unsure of where to begin. Let me know what it is in the comments. Let's talk about it. Maybe we can do a whole video about it and I can help bring some light to the situation and we can work through it together. Um, so like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you're interested in and then we'll go from there. So I'm kind of going to operate on the assumption that you know a little bit about ChatGPT already. Um, there's two versions. There's a 3.5 version. There is a 4 version. The 4 is paid. It is awesome. I think it's worth it if you're going to be spending a lot of time or you're just interested in exploring a little bit more of what can be done. Definitely worth it, I think. Pay for the extra version. DALI 3 is included, which is an AI generated, generating um, plugin. You can browse the internet with Bing. Um, there's other cool ones. I actually downloaded, what is it, Expedia and Kayak as well if you're looking for flights or travel plans, that kind of thing. So there's a lot you can do. And, you know, as time goes on, there's a whole plugin store. There's going to be way more stuff here. So I really think that there's going to be something for everyone. Um, and so what I want you to keep in mind when you start your ChatGPT journey or you start exploring ideas with ChatGPT is that you have the option to create chats. Um, you can see if I open my sidebar, I have like a million different chats. It's not really a million, but I have a bunch of them. They're all separate. I've named them specifically so that I can remember what I'm writing about in each one. And the important thing, which I'm going to illustrate now, is that it's going to remember. ChatGPT is going to remember the context about what you're asking, what you're writing, how you're responding, what you're asking it to do, and how you're asking it to change its response based on what it gives you. And this is just part of the process. Um, I remember when I started, uh, I think I used ChatGPT like GPT, like three months ago and I was writing a song and I was kind of stuck and I wrote on it and I said, write me a song, write me a love song. And it wrote me this poem and it was really bland and I felt like kind of devoid of any meaning, devoid, void of any meaning. And I was like, I don't get the hype. I don't understand why everybody cares about this. But now, I actually haven't gone back to that songwriting task, so I think that that's something we'll cover together if you're interested. But there is so much to learn, so much to do, so much to learn. So let's get started. I'm assuming that you know a little bit about ChatGPT, but let's ask. And remember, I'm illustrating a point here, okay? So I'm going to use this as um, an illustration. We're not going to read everything, I promise. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence language model developed by OpenAI, blah, 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 blah. 
So it gave me some really cool uh, information, very specific. The capability makes it adept to a wide range of tasks, which is great. It's not wrong. It's, um, you know, giving me relevant, important information. It's designed by, uh, okay. So if you've no, if you know a little bit about ChatGPT already, you may have heard tokens. Um, it is basically an exchange of data from you to ChatGPT. And ChatGPT can only accept up to 2,048 tokens, basically. So uh, let's ask it what are tokens. Now we're building the concept here, right? Um, I'm. It has a little bit of context because I've asked it what is ChatGPT, um, and now I'm asking it what are tokens. So I, it's assuming that it's related to one another. It's not writing tokens like doubloons, which is what I think of when I think of tokens. It's writing tokens in terms of what ChatGPT means for tokens. So here we go. They wrote me a bunch of stuff, five points. Nice. It gives you a header, it gives you points, it writes a little bit more about each one, which is amazing. Yeah, it had earlier versions had 1,024 tokens. Okay, can you rewrite this in really simple, easy to understand language? <clears throat> tokens are like individual pieces of a puzzle. Great, used a metaphor. We love metaphors. Um, okay, simple. All right, now, do you know what GPT means? What is a GPT? The next time you're at a dinner party and someone asks you uh, about chat GPT or it comes up, here you go, you can talk about it. Uh, so GPT is like a smart robot that has read a bunch of books and now, okay, so this is a key part, which is like what I wanted to show you. Here is a simple breakdown. You notice that when it gave me uh, this, before I asked it to write in simple, easy to understand language, it kind of gave me a lot of information. Maybe not necessarily too much, but it used some technical language, you know, each token is converted into a numerical representation, a vector that the model can understand. These vectors capture semantic and syntactic information about the text. That's not like everyday language that I would use personally. And so now that I've asked it for GPT, the concept of generative pre-trained transformer is actually quite complex, but it it gave me this simple breakdown, and you know why? Because I wrote this prompt. Can you rewrite this in really simple and easy to understand language? So herein lies the beauty of the nuance of ChatGPT, how it remembers context, and unless I tell it otherwise, it's going to hold on to those uh, nuances of data that I that I've given it. Write it in simple to easy uh, easy to understand language. So there you go. Uh, let's try it again. What is machine learning? Oh my God, I love ChatGPT honestly uh, because it just answers all the questions. I used to Google like a million things every day, and now I just have to come here. Machine learning is like teaching a computer to recognize patterns and make decisions on its own. It's like how you learn to catch a ball by trying over and over again. You see how it gave me like a really simple answer, like a metaphor for something that's really complicated. Um, and it did that because of my prompt. It understands that I'm looking for simple, easy to understand language. So this is the beauty of ChatGPT. This is the beauty of why it is such a, a crazy tool to learn because it's going to help you not even necessarily write, but it's going to be that kind of guideline. It's going to maintain your tone, your context, all of the things that you want it to hold on to. It's not like every time you write something new or ask it a question, it's going to just go off the rails. 
um, like you, like, uh, not YouTube, like Google, you can ask Google a question and yeah, I can ask it about machine learning and it may link to a bunch of different sites and it may give me the really simple, easy to understand, like what is machine learning, uh, in the little box. But if I have read a really complex article or started to read it and I want that particular article to be simplified, I can't really do that. Uh, now I can download the article, make it in a PDF and maybe upload it here. And so this is such a game changer. It is not going to replace your job, but people who understand how these tools work are going to be at the front line of those jobs for sure, because all major companies are going to, and are already adopting ways to include AI into their uh, productivity, their workflows. And so it is really important to understand how it works, even if it's just like a little bit, honestly. Uh, so yeah, here we go. These are uh, basically some really simple, uh, this is this is the beginning of prompt engineering. It, it's, I know we're not scratching, we're scratching the surface. We're not diving deep into it. I want to share um, some of the ways that I've been using it and we're going to explore these together, write some prompts as well. So this is my page, Earth Inspired AI, um, and I got a Food Inspired A1 I'm going to show you. I haven't eaten yet, so... If you're hungry, you may get a little bit um, inspired by my next channel. But these are all DALI 3 generated images. Look at the detail on this green macaw. It is amazing. This page, um, these are both passion projects, Earth Inspired AI and Food Inspired AI. Um, these are all generated by ChatGPT. All the captions you can see are formatted by ChatGPT. I mean, I give it the idea. I know what I'm looking for, but I formatted it. I generated it exactly how I wanted to. These images are all DALI 3. They're incredible. The prompts were super simple too, and it came up with this amazing scene with the fruit. I love this. Um, it's amazing. There's so many things it can do. And so what we're going to do is possibly dive into these channels that I'm creating. I hope, by the way, follow me, please. Uh, let me know if you like it, if this is your thing. I get it. It's not for everybody. Um, but this particular page is dedicated to mammals, animals, ecosystems impacted by climate change, just helping to bring awareness to some of the issues that are happening in this world, the reality of what's going on. Food inspired is not so much that. It is actually just feasting with your eyes. Um, oh my God, I love this one so much. It looks so good. I wish I could make it. I am not a chef. But um, I'm Toronto's uh, executive chef based on this channel, AI executive chef. This is breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, cocktails, anything you could possibly want. I'm also doing a series of posts where we travel to, this is from Iran, um, there's another one from Hong Kong. If you leave a comment, let me know what city or country you want to see. Here's India. I will create some meals for you, create a specific dish just for you. So yeah, just, you know, this is a passion project. My point here is that I want to show you all of the amazing ways that you can use prompt engineering to generate what you, what you want. Um, even if it's just for fun, doesn't matter if it's a serious project for work or if it's just an Instagram page that you've been wanting to start forever. There's something for everybody. So in the next video, we're going to go specifically uh, dive deeper into prompt engineering, generate some of these captions, generate some images. And um, again, if you have something that you're working on, you're unsure of where to start or you're stuck, leave it in the comments. We'll work through it together. I'll create a video just for you about it and we will get started. So see you next time. All right. Bye.